Hi everyone, it is a Saturday and I don't normally film on a Saturday but I thought that I would today because a couple of reasons, Mr M is out all day on a long walk with a friend and I have lots of little things that I just want to get done around the house. A very casual day but kind of just organising my life kind of day. It's a nice day so I'm going to do two loads of laundry. I did the annoying thing that I think probably many of you are familiar with if you write in your books. I left a pen in the bed and I got ink on the duvet cover but I think I can get it out. So that's one of the tasks. <laughs> um, I need to put away the blow up bed because this week I got to see my mum for the first time in obviously forever. We walked a lot around London. We were just outside walking in fact. Let me do some maths for you. Let me show you how many steps we've done. I am feeling tired. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm feeling very tired. Um, we did, I'll put it on the screen. These are the steps. Bear in mind that she got here Tuesday evening and left on Friday morning. These are how many steps I have done since Monday. It is 118,642. That's a lot of steps and my joints are very sore, but it has been very nice. Um, we walked around a local area, we went to Hampstead Heath, um, and yeah, no, it was good. That was a lovely distraction. Things haven't been great, and I think you've probably realized that. Um, and I always hesitate to say that if I'm not gonna say what the thing is, because I worry that it comes across as, ooh, Jen's being mysterious. I'm not, I'm just being honest whilst also having boundaries, which I think is fine. And uh, once I've processed things, we can talk about it, but you don't need me to use you as therapy or trauma dump on you. So um, just know, hasn't been great, haven't been well, and um, that's not being fun. But my mum was here this week, which was so weird because I'm so not used to <laughs> seeing people, but it was lovely. And now that she has gone, I need to put away the blow up bed. So that is on the list. Um, I do have a couple of bags that need to go to a charity shop. So I may just drop those off today when I go outside for a walk. And when I say go for a walk, it's gonna be the smallest walk, the smallest walk, because today is mostly gonna be, I was gonna say about resting, I'm gonna be pottering around the house, but I'm just not gonna be going on a 30,000 step walk kind of day. I need to clean the bedroom, I need to clean the bathroom, I need to clean the kitchen. Um, I'm looking around at the bedroom, maybe I will just film a bit on, on the phone so you can see what's behind the camera, but it's not terrible, it's just, you know when you get the club, the piles of things, the piles of things? Yeah, I've done that this week because, uh, well I just have, I think it's a good reflection of where my brain has been at actually, and I just need to sort out those things. You may have spied a new wardrobe in the corner of that clip, and Mr M and I bought that this week and I love it. I don't care that it kind of clashes with my open wardrobe, don't care, but it is a small folding wooden wardrobe for him and uh, I just love it. Um, we got it at the Futon Company in the sale and we just bought a few little bits for, well not even little, we've bought the big bits for the house that we need and that's kind of it. So we bought this bed in the La Redoute sale, a sofa arrived yesterday, which we bought in the sofa.com sale. I can't tell you how excited I am to have something comfy to sit on that isn't the bed, because the bed is the only comfy thing that we had to sit on, um, which is hardly a hardship, but you know, a sofa is very exciting. I'm very excited to sit on that at some point today. So I need to clear out the rest of the living room because the living room has become a little bit of a dumping ground, mainly because we weren't using it because we didn't have a sofa. We were either in the kitchen or in bed. So I need to sort out the living room. I may steam some clothes for Mr M to go on uh, his wardrobe. I've written moths, question mark, because I've seen a few clothes moths around. And, um, hi phone, those, I don't, I don't have anything wool out. <laughs> I'm looking around and I don't think I do. 
Mr M had a suit which we put in the freezer and we had one woolen blanket which I've also put in the freezer because that kills any eggs that they're laying but I just want to double check that there's nothing else that they could be eating and also need to buy some more lavender bags which will stop them coming back so that's just a reminder to myself I want to hoover I want to make some vegetarian slash vegan I say the slash vegan because I'm using cheese but you could use vegan cheese sausage rolls for lunch and I thought I would show you that recipe I also want to make some pizza dough for tomorrow so we can make pizza then and I have some mascarpone in the fridge and I thought I might make tiramisu I don't know maybe possibly we'll see how much time I actually have I need to frame a print a frame arrived yesterday and I'm looking at the size of the container that it came in and I'm thinking did I order the right size because she looks big <laughs> um, so we can open that together and see if actually I did order the wrong size frame I need to wash some wigs I need to do that and because I've been spending time with my mum this week and um, was also in hospital yesterday I need to go through my emails and just make sure that there isn't anything that needs to be done before I'm back at work on Monday. Um, or maybe I will just make a list of of things. You know when you've been away for a few days and your inbox is just loud? I, I think making a list and just prioritising some things, even if they're not things that I do till Monday, will just make me feel a bit better. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. And I would love for you to join me. And I will also talk to you about... Um, some bookish things and we can also talk about the house as I tidy up various rooms and talk to you about what um, what we're doing at the moment. As I said, I'm not even sure I finished that thought before. We bought a bed, a sofa, that little wardrobe for Mr. M. We bought a fridge, which is obviously very necessary. Um, but apart from that, that that's it. Um, there are some picture frames for my office and I've painted my office. And I'm so tempted to get painting everywhere else myself, but I know that we need to do things in a certain order and there are things that we need to fix first and obviously things that we need to um, work out costs for and do everything properly. And the thing that we need to do first, which it's the boring stuff, right? First of all, we need to buy a new boiler because our boiler has broken. In fact, you may be able to hear a bath running in the background. It's not someone taking the world's longest <laughs> it is the bath running because our boiler has broken and you can only run it's off most of the time but it is safe to run the hot water on the lowest pressure so it's just trickling into the bath it, you can't have a shower because that's too much pressure so it's just hot water very much trickling into the bath and it takes about half an hour to run um so we are getting quotes for a new boiler at the moment but apparently there is also a boiler shortage um, so that's the thing that's top of our list before we do pretty much anything else and obviously boilers are expensive but it's over 11 years old and um, I think ultimately having a new boiler and knowing it's new and having that warranty is going to be great in the long run but obviously it's an expense but anyway I've waffled at the very beginning of this segment I'm going to go get washed I am going to get dressed. I'm also going to do Quirtle because I haven't done that yet today. Do you do Quirtle? If you know Wordle, which I'm sure you all do, it's that, but you're doing four of them at the same time, but you can only guess one word at a time and that word filters into all four sections. You have nine guesses to guess the four words. I'm just slightly obsessed. I didn't know about it till my mum was here and she was like, do you pay Quirtle? So I just started doing it in the morning. So I'm going to do my Quirtle and I will insert a time lapse of that here and I'll see you when I am dressed. Was this a very long intro? I think so.
promise. These aren't just more pyjamas. <laughs> a lot of my clothes look like pyjamas. Once you've started the dungarees life, aware these are not dungarees, but they are very comfortable. There is just no going back. Right, I'm gonna hang up laundry and clean the kitchen. This is my favorite thing. I am such a cool person. A peg bag for hanging out laundry. Then you have your hands free. I mean, is this not the content you subscribe for? <laughs> Okay, time to make some lunch. So I'm gonna do a time lapse so you can see me making these, but I just thought I would talk you through it first. Let me turn the focus on, there we go. So these are super, super easy to make. And as I said, you can make them vegan very quickly by just replacing this with vegan cheese. So you need just roll, ready rolled puff pastry sheet. And these, I am just always astounded that they're vegan, but they are, you need some form of meat-free sausage. This isn't actually my favorite kind, but it's all that they had in this week's shop. So my favorite, if you're interested, is cauldron. I think they're super tasty. And you need a red onion, some sage, some cheese, some kind of chutney is optional, but I really think it makes all the difference. This one is apple chutney, smoked apple chutney, actually, yum. These totally optional because they're just for aesthetic. <laughs> they don't add any flavor. This is poppy seeds. And then you need a splash of soy sauce and milk as well, which is currently in the fridge. So what you do is you chop up the red onion and you fry that lightly and then chop up the sage and add that too. My sage is looking a little sad because it's been in the fridge a bit too long, but it's still fine. It'll still taste good. So you fry both of these things together. Then you mash up the sausages. It says to remove the skins, but I just find that a really fiddly thing to do. And you would eat the skin anyway, so I say just mash them up as they are, whatever. So mash up the sausages, then you add the cooked onion and sage to the sausages with 40 grams of grated cheese. Then you wanna roll out the puff pastry sheet and make three lines. I mean, you're gonna see this in a second when I do the cut away, but make three lines of filling. And then you put a line of the chutney on top of the meat, in inverted commas, mixture. Then you wanna cut the pastry 
in to three and fold the pastry over the fillings. This is so hard to explain in words. You'll see it in visual in a second. And then once you've done that, you wanna make a wash out of milk and soy sauce. Soy sauce gives it a darker color when it cooks. So you just brush that over and then add poppy seeds and bung them in the oven. So I'm gonna quickly do a time lapse of this, cook them, and then I'm gonna eat many of them, I think. And I'll link the recipe in the description box down below as well. I was gonna film this clip from our sofa and show it to you, but then it was a comedy of errors because my neighbor started playing his TV really, really loudly. <laughs> and and then I got the shock of my life because I turned round and there was a woman's face at the window. She had a face at the window peering in. To be honest, I think she got more of a shock than I did because when I looked back at her, she was so embarrassed. She thought that the house was empty because there's another house on the street that's currently up for sale. And um, she was trying to peer through the window of that one, but it wasn't ours. And I was like, hi, can I, can I help you? And she was like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> please ignore me. Uh, I don't think she was trying to, you know, survey the house to come back to burgle it. She didn't really look like she would do that because uh, she was in her seventies, but you know, you never know. Anyway, so I have come up to um, my office instead and I'm going to talk to you about the, I'll talk to you, I'm going to show you the frame that I mentioned before. So I've done uh, all of the cleaning that I need to do. The second lot of laundry is on the line. As you saw, I made the sausage rolls and quite frankly ate most of them and also made a tiramisu, which is currently in the fridge. I didn't have enough ingredients to make it four layers, so the ladyfingers dipped in coffee and then the mascarpone cream and then double that. So it only has two layers, maybe could have found a less wide container and done four, but whatever, I'm sure it'll taste nice still. But yeah, the frame that I was talking about earlier. So this is the frame that arrived in the post. Oh my God. Um, 
it's big. And this is a frame that I ordered for my, sorry, did I just kick the camera for my Lenora Carrington print? If you want to see, it's not an office makeover because I don't talk you through the process, but if you wanna see what I've done to my office, how I've painted it, and the prints that I have, I'll do a cutaway here of the prints that I currently have framed. They're on the floor because I'm waiting for a chair to arrive so that I can work out how high I want the prints to be behind the chair. But this was the last one that I hadn't had framed. And um, this is her. This is The Giantess by Lenora Carrington. I love Lenora Carrington's work. And yeah, that's the frame. And I'm really worried that I have ordered the wrong size. Let's unpack it and investigate together. a slight error but it's fine so she does fit hang on God, so, so big look at her she's fabulous she does fit but can you see there is a tiny gap at the edge of the mount so I ordered the right frame but not the right size mount so I can either order another mount which I think is about five pounds or something, but I think what I might do instead is just either fix it with a similar shade or make a new mount myself. I think that's what I might do, but this frame is super good quality and I'm so impressed with it and the error I'm sure, I'll double check in my emails, but I'm pretty sure I'm the one who's probably made the error. But these are the people here, they're called Easy Frame UK and here's a voucher. Will this work for you? Easy five, if you would like five pounds off. They do custom frames as well as standard frames. And I also use them to get this frame. And I did put the right dimensions in for this one. So this is my Poems on the Underground one. And they have a non-reflective acrylic that you can get instead of glass. You can get a range of different options. Anyway, I really love them. And once I fix that, she's gonna go on my wall and she's gonna look great. Um, I thought I was gonna talk to you about books, but I don't have loads of things to say about books. The book I am reading at the moment, where have I put it here? And this is 100 Queer Poems, edited by Andrew McMillan and Mary Jean Chan. And I am just adoring it. One, because it's full of poets that I already know and love, and I'm discovering new poets. And I just think that Andrew and Mary Jean and I have a very similar taste when it comes to poems, like the poems that they've picked from the poets they've chosen to include are perhaps not the ones you would expect them to include, so there's some hidden gems in here. Um, and I don't just love it because there's a poem of mine in here, though I am thrilled to be part of this book because there are so many poems in here that I love. But this is published by Vintage, it's out now. My poem is, um, Poem number two, actually, in the book. Maybe I'll read it to you. It is from the Girl Aquarium. And then I've started underlining lots of, lots of other people's poems in here. But we've got um, Kavar Akbar, Denez Smith, Emily Hazlitt, Elizabeth Bishop. Um, who else we got? Richard Scott, Dean Atter, Caroline Bird, Jackie Kay, Caroline Duffy, John McCullough, Kay Tempest. Loads and loads and loads of people. So it's a hundred queer poems by a hundred queer poets. But my poem in here is called The Bear. And I will read it to you. I sit in the dark in a blue jumper that scratches and ask you how you would draw a bear if you had never seen one before. You don't seem to understand the question. It's a very important question, I say. It's a stupid question, you say. I know what bears look like. I'll draw one for you now. The paper is too dark to see. 
I steal your pencil and persist. That you have never seen a bear in the flesh and photographs are all well and good, but you have never touched a bear or hidden from a bear or felt the breath of a bear on your very human skin. Also, how do you know that I am not a bear? I ask. Because you're not, you say. Go to sleep. I bristle under the duvet. My hot lungs ursa major. So yeah, 100 Queer Poems would very much recommend. That poem is from my collection, The Girl Aquarium, and I am hoping, touch wood, touch the floor, that I'll have a new poetry collection out towards the end of next year. That's certainly what I am working towards, and if not the end of next year, then spring 2024, but I'm hoping autumn next year. So that's kind of the only bookish update that I have apart from talking to you about what I'm currently reading aside from that, but I'm also including that in a reading vlog, which will be coming out next week, so I don't want to repeat myself. So yeah, I will talk about those in the next video. I didn't get to the charity shop today um, to drop off my clothes, and I didn't end up making pizza dough. But you know what? That's fine, because that list was quite ambitious, and I have definitely cleaned the house, and I have done all the laundry and made lots of food, and I'm gonna now get on with work for a couple of hours, go through my inbox, prioritize what I need to do so I can make a good head start on Monday. So thank you so much for joining me today and holding me accountable <laughs> for getting through the things on my to-do list. I hope that you're all doing okay. If you are new to my channel and you would like to subscribe, that would be lovely. I always forget to say it at the beginning of the video, my name is Jen, I'm an author and a book reviewer. That's normally what I talk about around here, but occasionally I'll throw in a vlog or two as well. If you enjoy my content and would like to consider supporting me on Patreon, that is so much appreciated and a link to that will be in the description box as well. I would love to know how you are, what you're reading, what you've been up to. Let me know in a comment down below and I will be back with a new video very soon. Sending lots of love. Bye.